is at 40% strength. Kind of a big deal. Welcome back to another episode of Snowy's Guides for Battleborn because you were born for this. Today we're going to cover uh, Reyna, her, uh, the rescuer with the shields and the plasma pulses. It's very devastating to our opponents. She is the shield obliterator and one of my new favorite support characters. When I started playing Reyna, I had no idea how powerful she was until I got deep down into the thicket of things and found myself coming out on top on almost every situation. So let's go ahead and jump right into her uh, skills. So her passive is called Failsafe. When Rainer places a shield booster uh, over shield on an ally, she receives one as well. This is a super important thing. Uh, uh, the build that we're going to choose relies very heavily on this in the later game. Her weapon is a laser pistol. Reyna's primary attack utilizes her lethal laser pistol to deal damage to her enemies. Uh, the important thing about the laser pistol is that it has absolutely no recoil. So if you've got items equipped that actually have recoil on them, take them right back off. You won't be needing them at all. Her talent is Plasma Pulse. Reyna's secondary attack launches a shield melting Plasma Pulse from her command gauntlet, dealing 50% bonus damage to shields. Again, really important, that 50% bonus damage to shields. Her first skill is a shield booster. This is the one that you target an ally with. Uh, applies an overshield to a target ally, blocks up to 225 damage over the next 8 seconds while applied plasma pulse charges the target shield. So you want to look at a target, uh, you'll see a triangle reticule that comes up and you'll hit L1 and you actually kind of want to hold it. If you get good enough with this, you can actually tap it and it'll uh, you'll land the shots, but I find it way easier to hold the button down and make sure I see the triangle appear on the target and then let it go and it will connect with them and put an overshield on them. Uh, the important part about this is that uh, the plasma pulses recharge that person's shield. So you want to shield boost right before you go into combat, pop priority target, which we'll get to in a second, and then start spamming your plasma pulse as much as possible. And uh, our talent choice is actually going to cause your plasma or your priority target to home in on the target, your plasma pulses to home in on the target. You'll be regenerating their shields. You will overtake your enemies and dominate them. The second skill, Priority Target, which you already mentioned a couple times, fires a homing blast that deals 54 damage plus 50% bonus to shields. Notice the shield thing uh, and reveals the target's position. That's also important because if Oscar might go stealth while he's a priority target, you can still see his exact placement. Uh, the target takes 116% incoming damage for 6 seconds. Very powerful ability. I love this ability. I especially love her ability to shield. These two combinations of abilities make you an excellent person to play with at least one person on the team. Specifically not Eldruid characters because they don't tend to have shields. But uh, the LLC make excellent combinations with the uh, our rogue supporter here. Uh, her ultimate, Photonic Ward, deploys a large energy dome that immediately pushes the enemies out of the area and continues to block enemies from fire for from entering or exiting for 6 seconds. So, I actually don't think that it blocks enemies from exiting or entering for 6 seconds because I'm perfectly able to go in and out of that thing. Surprise, that wording is even there. But what it does do is block enemy bullets, uh, projectiles, very specifically projectiles. So uh, melee characters were still able to run in, I was still able to run out, and people, uh, even people with guns like Oscar Mike or even uh, uh, any other character with gun, I can't think of the guy's name with the big chain gun right now, but he'll come in and uh, he can dominate you if you're not careful. However, we got tricks for him too, so don't worry. Uh, so that's the next part, we're going to go over to the helix. And uh, her skills, I have a very zigzaggy pattern on her skills, but I think that this is by far one of the best specs. So we'll, let's go take a look. All right, on to the Helix of Reyna the Rogue Supporter. So the first uh, talent I always pick is that Shield Heal. Uh, shield Booster over Shield is applied to instantly resource portion of the wearer's shield. Plus 120 shield, that's definitely my favorite talent. I never choose uh, waste reduction. Second one, pulse, Plasma Pulse Shots home in on enemies marks priority target by far. Awesome. Always take that talent. For the third one, uh, th if you don't have the mutation, go ahead and pick Optical Amplifier. But once you get the mutation, uh, Slazer Thermokinetics is amazing. And you will, in the beginning, in the early stages of the game, you'll be able to drain out uh, your plasma pulse and the heat will be maximum. So your pla your pulse pistol, <laughs> your laser pistol, will then be doing so much more damage. Uh, you'll be able to take people out very fast with this, and 
the combo since you already hit since you're level three at this point, right? So the combo with the uh, homing shots on your laser or your plasma pulse come in to obliterate their shields, do a little bit of damage, and then you'll be able to almost very close to finish somebody off with your with one clip of your pistol. Uh, typical characters only. Uh, tanks obviously need uh, quite a bit more work, but uh, an enemy Miko can be outright killed at this stage, and Thorn can be outright killed. There's quite a few of the squishier characters that can be outright killed already. It's a very powerful combination. I highly suggest it. Uh, the, the best defense, I think, is Trap. And the reason is because you'll be able to do damage too, and giving somebody 250 health allows them to survive an entire ability longer. And that's worth more than 16% more damage. Uh, the 200 or the Vengeance Protocol is also trapped, so definitely use Vital Protocol. When a shield booster overshield is supplied, it instantly restores a portion of the wearer's health, plus 250 health. I believe that's amplified by healing power as well, though I would never stack healing power. On to number 5. Um, I always go with thermal equilibrium. Prevent rain as plasma pulse from overheating while failsafe is active. So remember that failsafe is when you overshield somebody else and you gain an overshield as well. So as long as your overshield is active, you have failsafe. And that's the important part about this because you'll want to shield somebody, uh, priority target someone, and then just obliterate them with as many plasma pulses as you can. And not only will you be boosting your friend's shield at this point, right? but you'll be doing some of your highest damage possible and you don't even have to aim accurately to hit them. You simply have to aim near them and the shots will come in and hit your target and people are not prepared to take this amount of damage. It's, it's incredibly satisfying that it kills with this chick. She's very powerful with this combination already. Moving on to level 6. Um, Vigilance is the choice I always pick. Uh, increases the amount of damage absorbed by the shield. I wish that I would have liked First Strike better, but the real damage doesn't come from your Priority Strike. It actually comes from you pulsing them afterwards with all your homing shots. So keep that in mind that uh, your real damage isn't going to come from your first shot, though it will nearly obliterate someone's shield. Your real damage comes from repeatedly hitting them with the pulse shots and boosting your friend's shield. On to level 7. Uh, I always, always, always pick the Pulse Pounder. Uh, increases Plasma Pulse base damage by 18%. 18% doesn't seem like much, but when you have, when you do the combo, which is to shield somebody else, land a priority target, and then start pounding them with those pulses, uh, that 18% will add up very fast. By the time you run out of heat, which should be, which should take some time, because your shield is going to be up for at least six seconds, and your gun won't be overheating because failsafe is active. Right? You'll be able to land a lot of plasma pulses and nearly kill targets at this rate. Adding more damage just gives you even more uh, leeway to get those pistol shots off. Moving on to level 8. So uh, I like to choose the most wanted. Increase the duration of priority targets. Debuff acts by 4 seconds. Uh, the reason I like to choose that target is because it just increases the amount of time that you homing shots are in. Uh, dog pile sounds like a trap. Don't take it. Increase the extra damage over by energy mark priority target. It sounds like it would be cool if you are with a whole bunch of DPSers, but no. Uh, the, the mutation here, I believe, is called calling the shots. If an enemy marked by priority target is killed, the skill's cooldown is immediately reset. Yeah, that could be very powerful when you're doing the team fights because I do find that it that once I shoot a, a person with a priority target. Um, They'll die <laughs> fast, you know, because that's what's going to happen. We're doing damage to him. Everybody's doing damage to him. I'm calling the shots, right? So the talent actually might work out a lot better, but I definitely still pick the plus four second duration because just in case that person gets away, I'm still pounding them with those those shots. Uh, moving on to level nine. Long watch. Increase shield booster uh, over shield duration by six seconds. Do it. Always take long watch. Kinetic deflection is trap. That 50% damage is nothing. That's uh, maybe 40 damage. 45 damage, I think, at, at max level. So 45 damage or plus 6 durations on shields. That plus 6 duration increases the amount of time that you're able to maintain infinite uh, plasma pulses. So definitely worth taking plus 6 duration. Uh, for the last talent, level 9, I like to choose Blunder Dome. Increase, uh, disables the shields of all enemies within Photonic Ward's area of effect. Disabling shields is, is quite powerful as it makes people worried about their health all of a sudden. But the 
uh, mutation here. Huddle up, activating Protonic Ward grants a shield booster over shield to all nearby allies, granting plus 225 over shield for 8 seconds. That can be equally powerful. The point of you on the battlefield is to be a supporter, and you want to support your team as much as possible. You don't want to be the guy that gets all the kills, although you certainly can be with this spec. Um, mobility module, I find to be a trap. And it's a trap because... Increase the duration of Fortnite War causes the shield to follow the radio as she moves, plus four second duration. I can see that it could be good, and it, you know what? We'll, we'll take away the trap. We'll get a call this one all even because I like disabling shields. I think that's very powerful, right? As you jump in and you're, and you're fighting over a certain area, you can just disable everyone's shield, and then suddenly they think they've taken a lot of damage and they'll run, right? The flip side of that is the mobility module. You will be the target. Trust me, people will want to kill you. Because they know that you're the support. And having that follow you allows you to evade a lot of shots. And have the plus four second duration is kind of useful. But then huddle up, increasing all your ally shields. This one's a toss up. I personally like Blunder Dome the most. But choose the one that you think works best for you. So that about wraps it up for the uh, Helix. We're going to go ahead and move on to the gameplay section. See you there. Alright, so we're heading on our way, on our way to B here. Uh, looks like we got a, uh, oh, that stupid dwarf for this shield. That's okay. We're just gonna drill out as much damage as we can to that shield. It's fine. Oh, God, he got us with a stun. Uh, we're gonna come up here and quick melee him out of, the, out of the circle here so we can start taking it. Oh, he's dead. How many people? Oh, wow. And, like, the whole team is on me. Oh, that's fine. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get our homing talent now so that we can actually make good effect of our priority target and our pulse, pulse blasts. Um... Oh my goodness, that was once the on zombie. We got two of them on, we had nailed her with that, but she went uh, clone, and so my party target isn't going to be on her. Um, we're going to try to take out the Oscar Mike, just with a pistol, but I really need to shield somebody at this point. Um, so we're going to quick do a turn around and then look for someone to shield, and then turn right back into our friends. Ugh, I can't believe I didn't land that shield. Oh god, I need this one. Okay, good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, everybody. It's fine. So that looks like a... Uh, this is the real Deonde. We're just gonna keep keep pushing her. Keep pushing her. Ah, she cloned again. Ouch. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Oh no, there that is. <laughs> well, Deonde did her thing, and I did my thing. She got me. No big deal. I think our people are still gonna take that point. So at least we're on, on that kind of positive note. Collector A secured. Alright. So we're gonna go. Alright, back to C. Looks like we got a friend who needs some help over at C. I'm going to try to protect that. Uh, looks like it's a dwarf shield, though. So that's okay. We're going to keep drilling him with this thing. Oh, we got thorns with us. This is no big deal. So we're going to come up and quick melee him around. Oh, wow. There's Galt just chilling at that point. Probably should have set up a trap there, but uh, the trap really would have got me. I'm going to go down to this point, uh, shoot him with a party target, take down his shield to make him nervous about his life. He's not doing much damage to me at all. There's someone hitting me to the left, and that's okay, though. Uh, looks like it's the dwarf, but he's dead. <laughs> I got the kill for that one too. Shield one of our allies, so that I have some extra health. Get this guy out of here. There we go. Uh, I know there's a galt over there still. We're gonna priority target him. There we go. And then uh, keep just drilling him in the face, and hopefully we'll get this kill. Oh, we didn't get the kill, but somebody else did. That's okay. Deonte's back on us. I'm kind of worried about this. I need to shield somebody. Um, there we go. Oh no, no, I missed the shield. There we go. Now I got the shield. Turn back on. Deonte's on the run. Uh, looks like we took the point back, and I'm gonna chase her down. I'm gonna send a priority target. There, here, here, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And drill her down with those pulse blasts. Yeah, she's, she ran. Uh, Oscar Mike is still here, though, so he just came out of the spawn. And he's drilling me pretty hard. I really need to shield somebody, so I'm gonna turn and run. Um, there we go. Got that shield. And now, now, full in force, we're gonna priority target him and throw some bolts at him. We can both still see his location. You see how the priority target, even in says stealth, we can still see him, but the stealth stops the homing shots from happening, so that kind of sucks, but we're going to take this Galt head on. He's actually really powerful and very scary for me to take on solo, but we're going to punch him because we don't like him. Looks like Nico's on us right now. That's good, so we're just going to go full out attack. And, uh, oh, oh he's going to run. No, oh, I wish I could, I wish I could get him, but we want to save this person. Oh, nope, we're going we're gonna to heal him. We're going to let Miko try to save that guy. This guy's so low, he'll probably die. No, he's going to get away. Oh, we got to take this point. There he goes, there he goes. Now he died. So we're going to take this point. Um, looks like Oscar Mike is once again harassing, but that's fine. We're, we'll be fine. This isn't a big deal. 
Make sure we get this point, guys. Oscar Mike is on it, and he's still... Oh, he's... Shane Arcs. We're very dangerous to Shane Arcs, so we can just plummet his shields to nothing. But, oh, God, they're stunning us. So we're going to run around a little bit. We'll build this turn up real quick. Give us some extra DPS on the point. Uh, looks like I'm going to be overtaken. There's no way that I can take the 2v1, and I'm in a corner now. I don't want this guy to get me. I really want to punch him back away. Holy crap, like, looks like there's three people here on top of me now. Oscar Mike doesn't know where I am. Neither does that dwarf. Oh, Oscar Mike sees me. Everybody sees me. I don't have the money to buy that turret. We're gonna run, keep running around in a circle. This guy's probably gonna kill me, but I got some good amount of shields still going. Um, oh boy, he's doing some damage to me. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get away from them. Ugh. Ugh. I knew I should turn and run, but I decided to to stick it out and see if I can get one of them to follow me. The talents we're going to choose is the uh, laser pistol upgrade that's 80% more damage and a heal on our shield giving you an additional, I think it's 230 health, uh, whenever I shield somebody. Uh, I really like those talents because the heal also extends to you too, so whenever your failsafe goes off, it's going to heal you as well. So back in the respawn, we're going to run towards uh, C right off the back, so it looks like it's being taken. C, bro, they're at C. Um, there's a thorns. It's not going to C, but we're going to shield him anyway just so we can get that the overshield going. We're going to drill Oscar and Mike in the face with all these pulse blasts now. So we've now overheated our pistol. We're just going to start shooting. Dang, and now there's Shane. So I thought I was going to be able to take it. Looks like they built a turn and it's doing some damage to me. So let's see if we can get another priority target on him and start drilling him down with the, the pulse blast. We've done quite a bit of there we go. Yeah, man. That pulse blast is pretty deadly, but I think Thorn was a real killer there. So we're going to take out this turret. Um, it's not a huge deal. We're going to take this point here. Looks like one of our not so friendly is attacking us here. We're trying to land this priority target here. Ah, shoot, I missed. So, he's gonna get away for sure. I'm not gonna chase. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, the infinite pulse blast by shielding people. So now, so that's how you activate fail saves by shielding somebody else. Now that fail safe is active, my heat won't build up when I shoot my pulse blast. And that's really important for the build. Uh, we're going to stick with Thorns here. Oh, wow. Galt pulls off an excellent yank and trap. He's probably going to kill me with that. That was excellent. Excellent setup by Galt. You should taunt me, buddy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was a good setup, Galt. That's what you have to look out for for him. That hook into a trap is a very deadly combination for Galt. I see Miko here. Miko should always be with something. That's okay. I can't wait to try out Gold, man. I'm really excited about him. I had him a few times in the beta, uh, and I did really terrible with him. But you know, today we're on Reina, so we'll stick to Gold when we get Gold. We'll do Reina today. All right, back on the respawn. Uh, we're gonna go check out C. Looks like it's being taken right now again. Um, who's there at C? Crappy GD. He's one of my friends. Oh, they they took it. They took it. They're fine. We're gonna give him a heal. See that 300 heal. A little something special for my favorite so so Enemy forces at half strength. All right, so we're gonna go check out uh, probably B. Yeah, because it looks like it's been taken back. Are we taking it back? Are people running? What's going on here? What's going on here, guys? I don't see anybody. There you go. Have secure. some health. Some overshield. We got the point back. That's a good job. Good job, little sniper. We're gonna run right back to where we came from. Uh, keep the eyes on the menu out, though. It looks like I see one person. Is that Galt? Ooh, maybe we can get some revenge. Ah, oh, we missed him with priority target. So we're gonna try to overshield our friend here. Uh, take the the Varossi kill here, so we get that XP, and that puts us at level six. We're just gonna laser pistol down from the top. Oh, I can't believe that priority target missed. That's okay. At least we got the kill. So Miko's here taking a lot of damage. I don't think I'm gonna be able to save him even with that heal. Deonde's on it pretty hardcore, and I'm gonna just try to laser pistol hold down. Uh, what I really need to do is priority target her right now, but is it off cooldown? Yeah, it's off cooldown. Let's see what I do here. Oh, I missed her with the priority target. I thought I whipped around fast enough. That's just a clone. I'm gonna kill it anyway. So I'm gonna hate Deonde. Oh, all those clones and tricks that make me angry. And the clone did in fact kill the Miko. That's sad. Alright, so we're gonna get her with a priority target. Uh, we're gonna... Ooh, she's doing pretty well hiding behind there. I'm not gonna leave this point alone. I'm gonna keep on top of it. I'm afraid that one of her teammates is gonna show up here. That's just gonna kill me. I see. So there's Boulder. Boulder's on me right now. And I'm gonna try to pull off that stun. But notice how he can just run right through it. It doesn't even matter. I'm gonna pull right back around while he's just whacking at my shield. I wish that I had a teammate to engulf. Just gets a yank on us into nothing and it kills us. Ugh. Oh. Oh, I wish I had some teammates at that point in time. Mm. So 
Now we're going to sit here and watch Miko. He's coming to the exact same point I just died at. Uh, so we already know that it was a pretty dangerous spot, but it looks like everybody already left. He's going to be able to take it, no problem. Alright, we're going to go ahead and activate my reload. So that, that piece of gear that I like to use is to increase my reload speed for the laser pistol. Uh, I don't really get much use out of it. I generally fall back on the uh, the fail safe plus pulse blast, but you know, well, check out this Oscar Mike. We're gonna just drill him down pretty pretty fast here. So he's already taken a significant portion of damage. He wants to stay on the point, but you know, we can still see him. Now we're gonna just throw some laser pistol bullets down there and see how we can just get him to us. That's good. So he's still he's still gonna fight. He wants to push, and um, we're obviously way winning this war. We're just gonna take this point down. And there's nothing he can do to me right now. Alright, so we got the point. I missed him with the, the priority target, but he ulted on top of us. That's why we had to run out of there. We're gonna push... Oh, where did he go? Is he going the other way? No. So we're gonna keep pushing him down with the laser pistol. We're gonna get that kill, no problem. Our friend here, Crappy GD, thank you for showing up, buddy. Oh, we missed with the priority target. We're gonna keep drilling him anyways with those things. Now we're gonna flip turn with a pistol. Oh, wow, they got Crappy GD. I should have shielded him. Well, there's Gulp. I'm in pretty bad shape versus 2v1, 3v1 now. I think I'm just going to run. Uh, there's no point in me taking all this extra damage. We have a person we should shield. We're going to throw a shield on them because they're about to get put into some serious danger. And we're going to throw our priority target down there. We're going to get that hit and we're going to keep drilling him until he dies. And I will get that kill. Now it looks like Randy's here. Going to lend us a hand. We're going to go ahead and take the... Uh, Increased damage one here. So now our pulse blast does increased damage. I'm gonna do that as oh, I walked right into this trap. Our pulse blast will do an increased amount of damage, which is pretty solid. Uh, we do a lot of damage with that pulse blast already. See this gall here? We're gonna drill down his shields, no problem. Probably kill him with this couple shots here. Yeah, there it goes. So you really. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him because I hate him so much. Maybe that'll drive him nuts. Uh, so now there's the damage identification that we wanted. Um, looks like. Another try. Oh no, this is Diani's ult right here. Uh, not too much damage because there were so many of us in it. Diani went stealth, but I got her with the priority target. We're going to be able to check her down and chase her. We had the already ult just go off behind us. And Shane and Arx is just going to ult right there on top of the point. We're going to ult on top of our own point. Maybe that'll save us people. I'm going to go down, but my shield is going to remain. Hopefully, my teammates can take them out. Miko is over there not healing people. That makes me sad, but that's okay. Uh, a couple people really need those heals. Looks like the boulder just went down. She and Arx and Deonde is still contesting that point. So is Thorns. And Miko. So it looks like Thorns getting pushed out. Uh, Thorns really needs that support from Miko right now, but they're just going to run. There was an Oscar Mike who was deciding. Oh, no, that was a Galt. Deciding to attack now. So we're going to try to go on. Yeah, we're going to try to go on and run and assist our allies. We want to save Karapi GD over there and be the real support that he needs. Uh, we're gonna have everything we need. There's a for all season to shoot man, but nobody likes those guys. Uh, no, we're gonna go ahead and try taking this point because we are not gaining any points right now, and we really, really need a point. Yes, yeah, we just lost all points near the end of the game. Their whole enemy team is gonna be coming for me any moment now. Um, and their team just called for surrender. I think it's too late. We're gonna go ahead and secure that point, start the point gain. I think this point is gonna win us a match. I'm going to go ahead and support it by building up this turn here, giving us that extra DPS if they make it here. So there's Deandi, that's her ult. We're going to get caught into it solo. It's okay. And that's the match, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let's go ahead and get to the conclusion. Thank you guys for watching my video. I really appreciate everything. I, I appreciate so many of these likes and subscribes that I wanted to give a shout out to all the people that have given me some, some some subscribes since I've started this adventure. Uh, Sun Highs, thank you so much. David Badalotti, Toxic Panda Games, Young PNX 438, David Wallace, Keith Miles, Cody, sorry, Cocky Gang, um, Tropolite, Judy T, Hailfast, and Crappy GD. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate this so much. You guys have no idea the endorphins that have been released into my bloodstream every time I get an email or a comment on my videos. I love this so much. Uh, I really enjoy playing Reyna. She's got to be one of my new favorite supports. I had so much fun playing with her. I thought that uh, I originally felt really bad about her, but I wanted to come in and see what I could do with her. And man, it was incredible the amount of power she brought to the game. 
Uh, my wife is creeping in like crazy and it's driving me nuts. Here she is. There's my wife. Both my kids are asleep right now, so we don't have to worry about them. Mwah, I love you so much, honey. Um, again, one last thank you. Guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I hate you. Know that. I hate you so much. I hate you so you much. Love me.